Devils giving talent, balls will just too late So they try to put me down, but it makes me more ambitious Success is sweet, but revenge is so delicious Haters gonna hate Started us back with another pre-game stats breakdown. Starting off on the red team, we are going to have Gangplank, Ramis, Vane, Lee Sin, and Vladimir versus the blue team, who has Nidalee, Varus, Shen, Lulu, and Aurelia. Starting right along at the top lane, we're going to have Gangplank versus Aurelia. Gangplank mains top while Aurelia mains jungle. This should give Gangplank a pretty big advantage. The only thing is, is that Gangplank has never been played by this person, where Aurelia has been played by this person 188 times, which is an insane amount. So I think I'm going to have to give the advantage to Aurelia on this one. But then if we go into the mid lane, we're going to have a nice little matchup between Vladimir and Nidalee. So Vladimir mains jungle while Nidalee mains top. Uh, I think Nidalee should have a little bit of an advantage here just because Nidalee can be played top as well as mid. Uh, Vladimir, however, does not really play jungle very frequently, um, and he's also been played by this person only two times, where Nidalee's been played by this person 101 times, which is quite a bit, and it's really, really nice to see. Uh, so I think I'm going to give the advantage to Nidalee on this one. Then if we take a look at the junglers, we will see that it's going to be Lee Sin versus the Shen. Uh, now Lee Sin mains jungle and so does Shen, so no one's going to have a big advantage. But Lee Sin has been played by this person 150 times, as to where Shen's only been played by the odd one three times. Of course, you know that's not necessarily true because it's only season three in solo queue and it doesn't really count professional games and stuff like that. But according to the stats, it's not too great. Uh, it's looking a little bit more into the favor of Lee Sin. And if we go into the bottom lane, last but not least, we're going to have Vayne versus Varus. Now, Vayne mains jungle while Varus mains AD carry. This should give Varus a massive, massive, massive advantage. The only thing is that Vayne has been played by this person 130 times, where Varus has only been played by this person 26 times. So it's really hard to give the advantage to Varus, even though he mains bottom lane and he mains AD carry. Uh, but I think I will probably give this to the Vayne anyway. Then if we take a look at the supports, we're going to have Ramus versus Lulu. Now, Ramus mains top while Lulu mains caster. Uh, no one's going to have a big advantage here because they're not really familiar with the lane, except that Ramus has been played by this person 51 times and Lou's been played by this person 53 times. Ramus is definitely an unconventional support, but can be good if played properly. So it's hard to really give an overall perspective of it, but I think with the conventional support of Lulu and the damage from Varus, and uh, I think they'll have a, a tad bit of an advantage. But if we add up all the wins and losses between both teams, we'll see that the red team has a 55.75% chance of winning on average as to where the blue team has a 55.09% chance to win on average. Uh, so it looks like the stats are in favor of the red team by just a tiny bit. Let's go ahead and get in the game and see what happens. Hey, what's up, what's up, everybody? Stratus here with another episode of the Diamond League. And I'm very excited. I hope you are equally excited. We have www. I don't think I've ever seen that player before. But the odd one is here to save the day. And oh my gosh, I need to get back to like the beginning of this game ish, at least. Okay, so we're going to get to about one minute of the game. Shouldn't be too bad. Give me one second here. And we're back. All right, sorry about that. I just wanted to make sure I had everything working. I did a couple changes on my computer. Oh, really, 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 don't do it. Don't do it, really. Oh, God. Condemned to the wall? Condemned to the wall? Why was there no condemn? She had it, too. She must have done it a little bit too late. She must have skilled it a little bit too late. That would have been a guaranteed kill. There's nothing they would have been able to do about that. Because that followed by a possible taunt. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he had taunt too. So, that that sucks. That, was, that would have been a kill. Like, hands down, that would have been the kill. The first blood, anything you want to say. It would, it would have been ridiculous. I would have enjoyed it. So the red team did a really good job actually warding the opposing team's jungle. Uh, right now they're just going to throw in a little bit of pressure. Could have a nice condemn into the wall. Gonna force some extra damage from that golem. 
onto the jungler, and that's a really good move by them. Granted, it's not going to do too much, and he does have health potions, but it's going to force him to possibly use an extra health potion that he did not want to use. They also didn't do any other damage to the blue buff, just so that uh, he would take as much damage as possible. Lee Sin, on the other hand, is actually going to steal the third buff. Bam. Play the patch. Play the patch. Oh, he's going around the back. Is he going to be able to catch Shenna? Wow, that's really dangerous. He just did a loop-de-loo. They didn't have a ward there. That's unfortunate. And wow, he, he did a pretty good job at avoiding everything there. Yeah, I'm actually very surprised at that. Great job overall. Red is pinging off. Yeah, they're pinging off their red buff. They want to see Vizier, so Ramus, the support, is actually going to go over. He does have a lot of armor, so it's not anything that's out of the ordinary, but Shen is nowhere to be found. Shen is completely on the bottom. They didn't see him go down, and that was a very important miss. So it was unfortunate that they, were, that they did miss it, but it happens. It does, in fact, happen, and it happens frequently, but it's okay. Meantime, there isn't too much going on. A lot of damage going on. Taunt actually going down. Oh, and a beautiful condemn into the wall. Actually, didn't do quite a bit of damage. Throwing on the ignite to Ramus. Unfortunately, the taunt doesn't actually aggro the tower. So, Lisa tried to go for a tower dive, but unfortunately, really, it was just too much up front. She, granted, she does not have Ignite. Oh, no, she does have Ignite. But I thought I could have sworn I saw. Oh, no, she doesn't. She's it. Never mind. Oh, this could be bad. Shen is just hanging out, taking a lot of damage from Wolves. I don't know exactly what he's doing. He must have seen the Lee Sin, but oh, man, they're pinging it off. They don't know what they want to do quite yet. Lee Sin goes right into the front, trying to go right into the face. And this is a lot of damage onto Shen. Shen is going to have to try to get out of there. Ooh, beautiful flash. Took a tower shot, and really is not quite there. I don't know. Lee Sin's spending a lot of time over here. He's finally going to pop out. Is he going to do it? No, the tower aggro. Oh, man, that's a lot of damage. That's going to be first blood. Pretty easily for that Aurelia, and there's absolutely no way they're going to do anything from that. Ramus just went a little bit too deep in, took tower aggro, and that, yeah, that's going to completely back off both other members of the red team. So great job by Aurelia picking that up, and it looks as if the blue team will take this bottom tower as well. Very impressive indeed. And yeah, we'll take some time, but they'll probably get a next wave. I'm not surprised. And yep, that is going to be a very dead tower. And now the blue team is picking off for the dragon. Could this a five, six minute dragon? That is a really early dragon. The flash actually coming out. Wow, Gangplank flash is over. Gets slow, throws out the oranges, but gets taunted anyway. Very unfortunate. He will end up going down, and that is actually giving me a kill for Lulu. Not the best champion that they wanted it on, but I guess whatever works, works. Lee Sin coming around from the side. There is a ward there, so they are going to be able to find him, and that is going to be quite a bit of damage. He, his CC, he does not have flash. Yep, that is going to go to Varus. Beautiful pickup from the blue team. Once again, that is 3-0, to zero, and the red team is in a rut right now. They're going to need to come back. They're going to need to unify as a team. They did a lane swap, and as you can see, it's not working out very well for them because Aurelia still has almost her entire tower up. And so now the blue team can take this dragon, safely recall, buy their items, swap lanes back to the conventional lanes, and be 100% fine. They might not even do that. They may just continue to push this bottom tower. As far as mid lanes go, Nidalee is getting completely destroyed. Down by almost 30 CS at this point. Pretty much zoned out of the world. Uh, she is level 6 though. 
and so is Vlad. So as far as that case goes, they're pretty much even. Well, as far as levels go. So she wasn't getting zoned, she was unable to get CS in. Wow, that's going to be a nice taunt. Nice disengage, but... Man, Aurelia is not going to be able to do too much after that. Aurelia started with a giant spell and a door and she was a very, very defensive start. Well, defensive-ish. Since it's only health, it's going to be a little bit... Gangplank coming in. Lee Sin trying to take this red buff. He does actually smite steal it, but the spear from Nidalee picks it up. And Gangplank is coming in from the back. He is going to take the tower a little bit. He's going to throw down the ultimate to get the slow. They get the power ball, and that is going to be a ton of damage on a Gangplank, but he's going to be able to get out of there just fine. Just going to help a lot. Shen coming in now. Is he going to get a taunt? Oh, he doesn't get a taunt. Very unfortunate. If he would have got that, that would have been perfect. But now, oh, Ramus has a ton. He's going to pop that barrier, and wow, he gets away just barely. And now Nidalee, is she going to be able to get a nice long-range spear? She is AP. She has 56 AP. And no, uh, that is not going to work out. Oh, that would have been really close. Super close, super close. In the meantime, bottom lane still, Varus and Lulu pushing so hard. They already have that bottom tower down by 50%, which is pretty impressive considering the circumstances. But finally, the red team has made a swap back, uh, but there's really just nothing Nidalee's going to be able to do about this. Just throwing out the spear as much as possible, trying to generate a little bit, and oh, Lulu is in trouble. Nice condemn, but oh man, the ult from Ramus is going to be enough. Lulu's going to ult through, and oh, Nidalee, she's going in with the pounce, and is she going to get it? Havars will pick it up for a nice little steal. Nidalee is going to get the spear, and oh man, that is not good. He is completely slowed. Oh, the spear almost runs into it, and is she going to catch up to him? That's the question. She's so fast. Oh, nice job. Tick, she's really good at that stuff. And oh, Nidalee picks it up. Sniper. Oh, you can only do so many. Vars almost picks it up. Oh, 94 HP. This is a crazy game already. The shield from Lulu is protecting him from so many tower shots. And this will be another tower going down. This is two for zero towers so far in favor of the blue team. And wow, it's it's definitely a good game so far. I wouldn't want to be on the other end of any of these kills. Six kills to two, definitely in favor of the blue team. They're up by 4,000 gold at about 11 minutes. And it's a pretty decent advantage. If they can increase that up to 10K at 20 minutes, I, I want to say it's almost impossible for the Rage to come back. It's not something we see very frequently. So we'll see. Actually, I, I really think I've only seen it once, and it wasn't in a solo queue game. Ooh, nice spear smashing down onto, onto Vlad. Vlad does have vision of it, but she's going to pounce over the ledge. And... Oh, a nice Glitter Lance. Oh, the pool is going to stop it. Nice job. That was actually really nice. That was a really nice pool. It was perfectly timed. It, ooh, she's trying to get those spears in. She doesn't have the AP where she absolutely needs it. It's just one of those nice, decent things to have on the side. And oh, Nidalee has had a big heap of trouble. He's going to get ulted by both Lulu and Shen. And bam, that spear does so much damage. Varus does so much damage with his piercing arrow. And holy cow, he's going to tank the tower for a while. Shen going in with the taunt. And now there's a huge ball. Nidalee getting knocked into the tower with the condemn. As well as that. And Shen now gets condemned into the wall. The Dragon's Rage was the one that picked up the other one. Oh, Glitter Lance is going to do enough. Is one auto attack? No, it's not going to be enough. Varus almost gets baited in completely. And oh, this is not good. Glitter Lance once again landing onto the vein. Is it going to happen? Uh. 
It's so scary. Both of them are super low. Gangplank taking a little bit of extra damage, but he has his oranges, which makes everything K. Oh, she used heal at the last second, but the trap picks up the kill. <laughs> it's a trap, it's a trap, it's a trap. Oh man, I haven't seen a trap kill in so long, like for real. It's been so long, but it's always so funny. Oh, the spear almost landed. The spear almost landed. That would have been pretty nasty if that landed too. The entire really is just kind of chilling up top still. Only got boots. Gets taunted, she's gonna take a little bit of tower shots. And now she's just going directly onto the tower dive. The Gangplank ult coming out, actually smashing down her quite a few times. She almost died, she's forced to flash out. But, oh man, Ramus is in a little bit of a predicament. Ramus is at 200 HP, Aurelia's at 500. Oh, he gets taunted, is it gonna be enough? Gangplank comes in, he has no damage. He hasn't really been leveling his parlay all that much. He actually been doing the raise morale more. Which is very, very interesting choice. You typically don't see Raise Morale being chosen as first. Once again, Blue Team picks up that dragon. That's going to be the second dragon of the game. And there are 5,000 gold headed. 14 minutes. They're getting there. They're definitely getting to the very difficult part to come back from. Well, it's going to be difficult for the red team to come back from this anyway, but... If Gangplank's able to take this top tower, that will definitely help out quite a bit. And he's super close to getting it now. It's just a matter of will he get it. Yes. I do enjoy the Gangplank tower dives. I think he can do very, very well with a lot of tower dives just because of his ult. The Glitter Lance coming out ooh, doesn't quite land on the Vlad because uh, Pix was just a little bit behind Vlad and shot the wrong way. But, oh, Aurelia is getting completely caught up now here, trying to 2v1 against two people. Oh, my gosh. She almost picks up the kill on the Lee Sin. Now goes 1v1 against the Gangplank. Is she going to be able to do it? Safeguard comes out. She's going to go directly on the Lee Sin. Is it going to be enough? Yes, it will be. She's going to get those double and pick up the double kill. Oh my god, she fought right in the middle of the minions, and those minions were just able to do that much work. Uh, very impressive play coming out from the Aurelia. I'm really glad we got to see that. But now Newly is trying to do pretty much the opposite. 2v1. She ends up going down to Vlad's ultimate. But she did what she could, and that's all that really matters. Uh oh, condemned. Beautiful condemned. Getting the one kill. Is he going to be able to get another one before he picks up the kill? No, not quite. Ramus goes down to 40 HP and unfortunately unable to finish it up. But that is two kills for the Vayne. Total of five. And a Vayne with five kills is, oh my gosh, just completely life-threatening. If she gets fed before late game, oh my god, it, yeah, it's going to be terrifying. And she will take the tower as well. That's... Phenomenal. So it's three towers to two. And oh, Aureli is so close to dying. This is not going to be good. Oh, oh, yeah, she will get taunted. And Vlad will easily take her down. Oh, nice steal actually coming out from Ramus. Ramus almost ends up dying from it. And Nidalee should be able to take down this middle tower pretty easily. Uh-oh, Vayne's coming in. That's going to be a ton of damage directly on the Vayne. Vayne's going to throw down the ult. Actually gets smashed by the spear. One more spear. Max range, and that would definitely land onto it. Lee Sin, oh, actually, hit. how did it hit the... Yeah, that was depressing. But, oh, the ultimate coming out from Varus is only going to land on one person. Nidalee, unfortunately, will go down. And the Sonic Wave is going to go into Lim... Lulu gets out of there. Varus is in a bad position. One versus four. Vars will definitely go down. Oh, oh. Nice taunt coming out from Ramus. Once again, it gets really close. Sonic wave. Oh no, the cannonball's gonna finish up. No, it won't. He's not quite that lucky. 
That would have been a ridiculous amount of luck, but... Ooh, spear hitting flat in the face. And now, oh man, should take quite a bit low, and oh my gosh! It's almost another trap kill. Very unfortunate, Shen does barely miss it. Oh, the spear threads the needle, but doesn't quite have the range. And Aurelia is coming in hard in the paint. Is she gonna be able to follow up with anything? No, it does not look like it. She will just go for this farm, and you know, I can't blame her for that. She's doing a great job. 136 to 51 CS of the Gangplanks. Gangplanks is definitely not doing a great job by any stretch of the imagination. I go down pretty low. I don't know if he just got hit by a spear or what exactly happened. We shall see. Ooh, Nidalee throwing out those spears as frequently as possible. And now the red team is pinging off for dragon. Now that it respawned blue team, it's up to them to decide whether they want to go for it again or not. The red team looks like they could possibly want it. They will end up going for it. This is not going to be good. It's completely warded by the blue team. The red team has a ward in this bush. They're going to be able to see everybody who comes. Oh, he misses the piercing arrow. Oh, that's a lot. Yep, the red team gets the dragon this time. Oh, Shen gets ulted by the Lulu. It's going to be hard, and Shen goes in with the ultimate once again. He's going to try to run out of there. Force out some spells, and oh, that was a great bait. Ends up being a two for zero trade, wow. So blue team coming up ahead on that exchange. They're now up by only 4,000 gold, so the red team did come back a little bit just by simply getting those three towers as well as that dragon. They're gonna be down another tower here and possibly an inhibitor tower, which is gonna be really dangerous. Uh oh, this could be very dangerous. Oh, really, taking so much damage just simply by being in the tower range. Blue team is pinging to back off. Also very interesting. Oh, spear. I wanna see another trap kill, that was so sick. More trap kills. Uh oh, Ram is coming around from the back. Ooh, just gonna actually throw a ward over that wall. Not a big deal, but the red team has already started on this Baron. Baron is at 9,000 HP out of 11. Already at 7, 6, 5. Man, he's going down so fast. 3, 2, 1. Oh my gosh, he's dead. That was a really easy pickup on Baron, and oh, this could not be good. Varus gets a nice ult, is not going to stare anybody else, but oh, Vlad gets down so low. Shen ends up falling. Ooh, this is going to be a double kill. Run, Lisa, run! Oh, misses it. The piercing arrow probably would have hit it, but oh, the safe card probably would have saved him too. Huge chunk, definitely gonna force her to go back. And then it's gonna be one more tower for the blue team, trying to get them even more of an advantage. Wow, that spear's taking down almost half of Gangplank's health. As a soul laner, that is pretty terrifying. As far as the jungle goes, it's relatively even. Uh, as far as kills and assists, uh, kills are in favor of Lee Sin, assists are in favor of Shen. Not by much though, so don't go too crazy about that. 
Nidalee, of course, doing a wonderful job. 7-3-3 three, and three with 129 CS. Vlad is at 152, so she's still about 20 or 30 behind. She's definitely come back as 20 and 30 isn't as big of a number as time goes on. So I'm going to spend those really pre-level 6 levels that were kind of just stumping her growth. Lulu versus Ramus. Lulu has more assists and less deaths. So that's excellent for a skill, a good skill Lulu to have, of course, is not to die as a sport. So we want to survive as long as the fight is existing. Then we take a look at the absolute most crucial champions of the game, or debated most crucial champions. 80 carries. Vayne is 7 2 and 2 with 174 CS, which is insane. Oh man, literally, is she gonna do anything? No, it doesn't look like it. Dun, dun, dun. So not much at this point. Blue team is just kind of waiting for an opening. Red team doesn't really want to give them one, just so they're counter pushing as much as possible. Vlad is great at wave clearing, especially with the Leandri's torment. It's absolutely insane. But like I said, as far as 80 carries go, game is 722 with 185 assists, up by about 30, up by two kills, and down by three assists. Overall, the grand scheme of things not that much, not that big of a deal. There's going to be a goal difference of about a thousand in the favor of Vayne, which is kind of surprising actually. Vayne must have shut down a killing spree or two. Uh, that's very possible that that's what happened and that's why she got so much for it. Remus is all by himself at that bottom lane. This could be bad for Aurelia. She gets me down, but it doesn't stun her into the wall. Russ misses the ult, but this could be really bad. There's three members. Aurelia goes down, almost takes out. Oh, she's at 127 HP. Varus goes down almost instantly. Wow, that was a very, very poor decision on the blue team's part. A lot of action going down. And the red team's only down by 3,000 gold now. 3,000 gold, that's it. That's all it is, 3,000 gold. Ooh, I kinda like that combo with the safeguard on the... Ooh, Vlad, is he gonna go down from Leandris? I don't think he will. No, he will not. Is there Leandris? There's something going on. Let's barely see will tell him. That's why. Ooh, nice pickup, nice taunt. That is gonna be a real easy kill for Bane. And oh, that is gonna be a fool. Oh, he actually doesn't throw out the dragon. Oh, he didn't. he didn't have it. Very unfortunate. He used it because of that. And yeah, he deserved to die for that. <laughs> he really, really tried, but it was unfortunate that uh, it kind of happened that way. Right, yeah. You know. Red team's really waiting in here, but the blue team could very well possibly just go for the dragon. Shouldn't be too big. Miranda's coming in real hard with that power ball. Gonna go directly onto that Lulu. Lulu is dead. Easy. She throws out the ult, which I don't think was necessary. And holy cow, those are spears are doing a ridiculous amount of damage. Nice job actually tanking the dragon as well. Oh my gosh, the hail of arrows steals the dragon, the hail of arrows, the hail, hail of arrows, hail of arrows. Are you kidding me? That's just like, okay, it's a three damage. It's pretty good. It's pretty good damage, but I mean, yeah, that was that was pretty bad. Hail of arrows. I can't believe that picked it up. Such a real weird travel time. It's only three hundred. HP. And that's if there's zero armor. As far as I can tell, he he doesn't really have much armor pen. So, if we take a look at it, armor pen is 4 and then 8% 
which is uh, basically nothing. <laughs> uh, he has some, but it's not a whole lot. I'm a little bit surprised at that. Ooh, nice. Aurelia goes into a minion, and now the ultimate from Shen is going to pick them up. Spear going out, destroying, destroying Fade down to less than half health. And now, oh man, this can be bad. Reason picks up the kill on the Nidalee, and the Teleport now coming out. And this is a really bad decision. Nice job. Lamb is actually getting pretty tanky. Aurelia has the ultimate from Lulu, but it's not going to be enough. Are they going to be able to pick this kill up? The Dragon's Rage actually knocks back the Aurelia, which is exactly what they needed to do. And I don't know if that's going to be enough. And oh, she's not able to pick it up. He's at 10, under 10 HP. So what he ended at? Oh, the piercing arrow. And yes, Aurelia picks it up. That is super dangerous. Wow, that is a double kill for two members of the blue team. Both Aurelia and Varus. I can't believe Aurelia is still alive. She's at virtually zero life. And they're going to finish up this inhibitor tower and most likely finish up the inhibitor itself. Yeah, they're definitely not wasting any time. They killed four people. That was a four for one exchange. Great, great job by the blue team. Now the blue and red team are both contesting Baron. They know that the blue team is the most weak right now since Aurelia is super, super low. Uh, Shen is super low. He doesn't have his ultimate. Um, it's going to be difficult. So they really need to recall or start this right now. I mean, Nidalee is here and she does not have blue buffs. So she won't be able to heal as much as possible. And oh man, yeah, that's not going to be good. Red team's coming in, doing as much as they can. Pink War now coming out going to take it out and this is the situation that the blue team does not want to be in nice slow coming out and that is going to be a blue buff pickup from aurelian oh a whole ton of damage with ultimate now out from gangplank but he's taking so much damage ramus falls down to aurelia and now shen gets picked off pretty easily bane is having a great great time oh varus gets a beautiful ultimate dragon surge actually smashing into two other players Varus doing as much damage as he can, trying to pick up a kill, but not going to be able to because of that Zhonya's beautiful play by the red team. That was di oh, that was dirty. That really sucks. Uh, so, four for one exchange. Obviously. Ooh, nice pull by Vlad, just in case that that was going to happen. Oh, no. Is he going to die? Yes, he has some time to the parent. This Nidalee. This freaking Nidalee. And the red team is basically pursued into the opposing team's jungle. Oh, oh, how did that not hit? How did that not hit? Are you kidding me? I am freaking out here. How did that? Oh, oh that was so close. Oh my gosh. How is it? Uh, oh, the spears. The spears. <laughs> that was such a huge chunk. Nidalee's doing so much damage. Ow. <laughs> I don't like it. I do like it because it's entertaining, but I don't like it because I feel bad for the red team. Oh, throw it over there, throw it over there. Oh, uh-oh. But Nidalee single-handedly kept the red team away from the Baron. I, oh my gosh, that was just too intense. It's too much, it's too much. And Gangplank is technically helping out a little bit. He's doing as much damage to the team as he can uh, without helping him with Baron, but uh, it doesn't look like it turned out that way. Great job. The blue team picks it up. That spear just barely missed. Once again, Bane doing so much damage. She has her final hour proc, but she's not going to be able to do it except for run away. Oh, nice job. The Dragon's Rage right to a Lulu ultimate, knocking everybody up on his own team. That's a really great play, and that is going to be an easy pickup, but... Yeah, Vlad is going to go down shortly after that. That is a 4 for 0 exchange in a huge favor of the blue team. And they might push to win here since there's only Lee Sin available to defend. That's not enough. That's definitely not enough. They already have minions tanking the tower. They don't have to wait. They don't have to push. There's nothing. There's nothing for the red team to do here except for lose. It's very depressing. So it was a great game. In the end, they ended up losing by just under 10,000 gold. Uh, but overall, it was a phenomenal game. I really, really liked that game. 
Um, but yeah, guys, if you like these videos and you want to see more, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and uh, yeah, you'll get notified anytime I come out with a new video. As well as if you have any requests for champions or players you want to see either on NA or the EU West server, please you know, leave a comment, send me a message. Either way, uh, I will definitely get back to you and let you know and try to get a special done for that particular champion as soon as possible. Uh, but yeah, guys, thanks for watching and um, make sure to subscribe. Make sure to follow my Twitch and Twitter. I would very much appreciate it. But thanks for watching. I will see you tomorrow. Peace.